great first round here. This one's scheduled for five with the bantamweight belt of the WEC on the line from Chicago. Wow, big combinations. Both guys. So far, I think this is Gaki, though, is getting a little more fatigued. He's the first one I've seen now to go and open his mouth and take a breath. So far, I mean, look at Miguel Torres. Look at his conditioning level. His lips haven't broke yet. That means he's still breathing all his oxygen through his nostrils. And as a fighter, the minute you start to need more oxygen in your blood because of the, the, the demand you're putting upon your body, one of the first things you do is you open your mouth and start breathing when at least there's a break between the two opponents. Look, even no matter how far away he is, he never breathes through his mouth. Mrs. Gaki, though, on the other hand, you can see now, the spreading of the lips, he's starting to use his mouth to breathe a little bit more. 30 seconds remain here in round number one. This one's scheduled for five. Those liver kicks, though, are going to start adding up. Big combination. The nice flirt from Mizugaki. Down to the final 10 seconds here in round number one. when we return to Chicago after this. Back in Chicago, Frank, action from round number one. Great switch kick right here. You see that Miguel Torres timed the right hand of Amazaki and was able to come round across two, that kick to the head. Two, well, Takeya Mizugaki doing something that many fighters are unable to do, and that is get out of the first round. He is. He's been very successful with the body punches when he's in close against the cage. He's having a difficulty, though. You know, I mean, right now I'm giving the edge to Miguel Torres on the outside. He just says he's going to be able to land a punch unless he puts Miguel against the cage. But, you know, as elusive a fighter as Miguel is, you've got to do something to slow down his head movement. Nice body shot from Mizugaki. Yeah, I think that pissed Miguel off. That might be a good Again, another slip by Torres, and he is fine <laughs> fighting from this position, folks. Yeah, that's a lot of people don't want to follow Miguel Torres to the ground. Now, he slips and falls down, and you can just see the fear there that you don't want to engage him in the guard. Fighting Torres on the ground is like chasing a cobra into its hole. And now see like this. Oh, spinning hook kick. E bar attempt. Look at that. He went from a spinning karate reverse heel hook, or a hook kick, spinning hook kick, and was switching down to go for a knee bar. Mizaki's doing finding a decent home though for that left hook to the body. He's starting to slow down a little bit here though and get a little more flat footed. There he goes, he's starting to move his head a little bit. I think he identifies it. He needs to uh, get a little bit more spring back in his step if he wants to close that distance. Torres still, as you put it out, Frank, still breathing through the nose. Condition yeah. just perfect. Phenomenal condition, guy. Wow, what a flurry! Mizugaki connects, as does Torres. Mizugaki did a good job, though, driving forward. He knew that knee was coming. He had his head pulled down. Now he just cut a nice left hook, though, from coming back. I like his, guy, uh, his body attack. Takeya Mizugaki coming to us from Kanagawa, Japan, coming into the, the den, the backyard of the reigning champion, Miguel Angel Torres. And Miguel needs to throw a jab and a knee right up the middle. Again, you know, Mizugaki is just not as effective with his hands on the outside. This is where Miguel is just eating them up with that jab. The timing shots, he's just, he's, that's going to get tiring after a while to keep missing. See, all these shots he's missing, he's missing. But now here, if he charges forward, is where he's been successful. Where he can push Torres against the... Uh... Wow. If nothing else, Frank, you've got to respect Mizugaki because he said he, he would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the champion, and he's doing just that. That he is. He is going toe to toe with him. But it is the, uh, the lesser of the two evils, possibly. Right. What a comfort zone it must be for Miguel Torres knowing that he just goes to the ground, but just, just fine there as well. And another thing, too, like I keep pointing out, now mindset, mindset, mindset about how Miguel Torres is. Look right now. I don't know by looking at his face how he feels about how this fight's going. He's a complete poker player. Is he winning? Is he losing in his version? Is he frustrated? Is he not? Is he pissed off? You can't read nothing off his face. He's completely composed at all times. On the outside, that hurt Mizaki. See how he's, he's backstepping right there. 
Miguel Torres has the faster hands. He's landing some punch combinations. You can tell that too because right now he's trying to do different things. Connecting again is Torres. Now he's got him up against the cage. I'd like to see Miguel actually go and throw him to the ground and actually start doing a little bit of submission fighting with him. Show other aspects to his game here. You know, we all know how excellent his ground is too. He's Look at that. Perfect head control. He's pinning Mizaki's head against the cage. Oh, Mizaki though, though, was able to use the hunger to try to switch out. And Miguel put him right back in there again. He's got that wizard really tight with the elbow down. And he's got that forehead right in your chin. That's perfect head position. It's miserable to be there. Oh, look at the knees look at those coming knees. from both. Equal offender with both knees. That's some classic Muay Thai there. See how the, that foot's whipping out? He's using his hip as a, a, a rubber band. He's loading it. What's going on here? Mouthpiece came out. And Musagaki, though, is not coming forward like he, he was earlier. Starting to backpedal against the cage. Nice. Left hook, right hand. Torres is getting frustrated at this point. I mean, he has thrown some great shots, and Mizugaki just keeps coming forward now under 25 seconds in round two. No, not at all. I think Torres is enjoying this. If somebody's able to last this long with him, then he can actually beat them going down. I, I, I talked to the guy. <laughs> he likes to hurt people. Look at that. That foot stomp had nothing but just to be vicious. Oh, oh, that hurts. So we will go to a third round here with a Bantamweight belt on the line. Back inside the UIC Pavilion, that's Brian Bowles who probably takes on the winner here. Whoever is victorious in this fight. The next man in line alongside Frank Mir. I am Todd Harris. Welcome back to Chicago. This is round number three. We are scheduled for five. Miguel Torres, the defending champion in the white trunks. Takeya Mizugaki in the black trunks, the challenger. Mr. Gaki, I think, is coming up with a theory that... Oh, that was a beautiful check hook. Oh, that was textbook. Mizaki lowered his stance, came in, and that was lightning fast. Left hook that caught Mizaki. <laughs> Mizugaki. Miguel Torres now going into uncharted territory, this third round. Somewhere he hasn't been in months. Now, Mr. Gaki, though, is making a mistake there by coming forward and swinging like that. Miguel Torres, though, has got good angles. He's coming off. If he fires back after he slips one of those punches, Fuzugaki's going to be in a really bad position. Nice. Takes it to the thigh. Fuzugaki, though, firing back a combination, though. I just want to see Miguel Torres see if uh, he actually does ever get tired and make me feel better as a fighter to know that he actually can feel fatigued. Pace has slowed considerably from, from rounds one and two. Who does that favor? You know, Miguel Torres is still, though, because he's a sharper fighter. Anytime, you know, the slower pace goes, the more it actually benefits the, the uh, nice combination here. The more skilled fighter, because there's less chance of luck being in a play. A high pace fight, people can get caught with shots they don't see. Guillotine attempt, though, by Miguel Torres. He throws not... so much at you at once. I mean, it's not just the punch. It's not the lead of the kick. I mean, he's setting you up for something else. He's a very complete mixed martial artist. That's why, I mean, you have to have him in a strong vote for one of the pound for pound best fighters in the world. Yeah, but you know what? He's in a great fight right now. Mr. Paki has done a good job of staying in here, throwing some shots that have some little tension on him. He's landing some great body shots. Oh, there we go. Nice left hook. Made a right hand after that, though. Starting to draw blood from the nose and forehead of Torres. With a combination from Torres. Comes back. I think Torres can go ahead and open up more with the kicks. Reason being that Mizukaki is not really ever going to look to get a takedown. Oh! Straight right. They are going to clear the blood from the forehead of Miguel Torres. Now, Frank, I know this is just a minor technicality. It's a safety thing, but 
this has got to give confidence to the challenger. Yeah, there's a, it's a cut, you know, you feel it interfere with the blood. And it's a pretty good side gash over the right eye of Miguel Torres. Now, the challenger, he gets a chance to take a breather, feeling a little bit of confidence possibly going his way. We're fine. Well, fighter safety is first and foremost here at the WEC. They're going to take a quick look at this. Next thing, we'll let the fight continue. We've taken a look and decided that it's not a spot that's going to cause him any permanent damage, so they'll let the fight go on. The fighters are allowed to bleed. The only time a fight gets stopped because of blood is if it interferes with your eyesight. Obviously, we don't want to see two guys in there swinging, and if you can't see a shot coming, you can't protect yourself, and that can be very devastating. Now, if you're Miguel Torres, do you ramp this thing up now more and say, I got to finish this thing? You, that could be the case. He's going to go in there and push the pace a little bit more, but without making a mistake. Look at this. Look at this. Torres now comes forward. Then there's a guy who's getting worn down here. I mean, that was some good exchanges. But look at Miguel pushing forward. Chase him down. Under 90 seconds to go here in round number three. Nice left hook. Now the knees coming from Musagaki, but he's being pushed against the cage. Nice elbow. Great, perfect head position. I'll tell you what, Musagaki is warming up. Under a minute to go here in round number three. What do you think of this round, Frank Mayer? This is going to be a little closer. I still have Torres, though, who's taking it just for the more of the explosive combinations, landing different shots with the knees, and he's also stalking forward. There's been a lot of times in this round where you see uh, Mizugaki fatiguing and, you know, looking to regroup and stepping backwards. Final 15 seconds here of round number three from Chicago. <laughs> so we will see a fourth round here from Chicago when we return. Set to go with the fourth oh, four, round. This four, one's scheduled five. for five. Something we have not seen, and that is Miguel Angel Torres being pushed past the third round. But with his belt on the line, Frank, how will he respond? We've never seen a situation where Miguel Torres hasn't responded. See Miguel Torres, you know, he's looking for the home for the, uh, that jab again. Combination. If you're Miguel Torres, do you think about taking this thing to the ground? At this point, you know what? It's been a great war on his feet. He's edging it out, I feel, slightly here. You know, I, I feel he's winning the fight right at this point. But because of that cut, yeah, I would look to take this fight to the ground. Knowing that Mizaki is not very versed there, he could go ahead and pull and go for a heel hook right now here. Here he goes for the half guard. Well, Mizugaki doesn't want anything to do with this ground game right now. And this may be the smartest, smartest move of Miguel Torres. Get this on the ground as Mizugaki's corner cheers that he got out of that. Yeah, they don't want to be on the ground with him at all. And, and that's another reason why Miguel Torres should take this fight to the ground. He brings it up and over. Right. Excellent. Two elbows in a row from Del Torres. Pushing him against the cage and just grinding out some, some strikes in here. Keep 
cops just driving him against the cage using great head control. Again, you know, he is winning the stand-up fight on the outside. Miguel, you know, Masaki's landing some good shots to the body and stuff, but as far as who's landing the more clear-cut shots, Miguel Torres. But because of that cut, you don't want to see something nasty get opened up too far, and then they stop the fight due to that. So Miguel Torres looking to get this fight to the ground, I think, is a very smart, strategic move. 2.45 remains here in round number four. We are scheduled for five with the Bantamweight belt on the line. You know, Miguel needs to fire a straight right hand. The next time he sees Mazaki fade to his left, he knows he's going to the body. His straight right hand will beat him to the chin before Mazaki's able to. Nice combination. Look at this. Mazaki tying up again here. Double overhook. Elbow now with the left side coming through. Musugaki's gonna have to push off the cage here. Gonna... Wow. What an exchange. Can you believe this is the fourth round and we've still got two minutes to go? Miguel Torres is grinding him out here. This is where his superior mindset comes in. Great conditioning. He's able to drive in. If Musugaki could do so, he would probably try to get off of the cage right now to land some shots because he's not landing anything here. But he is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the reign champion, Miguel Angel Torres, as we approach 90 seconds to go here in round number four. You can't get off the cage. Miguel Torres is another aspect of his game that I didn't realize he was, you know, this proficient at is to pin people against the cage like this and grind out elbows after elbow. Nibar. Miguel's coming forward again and stalking. Mizugaki is backing up. Mizugaki needs to start, you know, getting.